In this video, we're gonna give you some actions that you can do to optimize one of the most important aspects of your Amazon FBA business and potentially skyrocket your profit. Hey team, this is Curtis Johnson, President Managed by Stats. And I'm Justin Coleman, Director of Training. In this video, we're going to be covering one of the most confusing, complicated, challenging, problematic, uh, just aggravating in general topics. Topics, I would say, yeah. Of, in anyone's Amazon business. Yeah. As I'm sure you're well aware, Amazon 2020, it's nearly impossible to keep a successful business going without really good pay-per-click campaigns. In this video, we're gonna share with you some strategies that you can use in your business to take your PPC campaigns and really take them to another level. Also, at the end of this video, we're gonna have a link that you can click to download a PDF of all of the actions in much greater detail than we're covering in this video. Oh, if you're an experienced seller and you don't feel like you need to brush up on basics of campaign strategy, structure, you can go ahead and skip to this time up over, over there. Oh, it might be over here. It's, it's on one of the sides, really. Uh, skip ahead to that time because we're going to share with you near the end of the video something you can do that you're probably not taking advantage of right now that will guaranteed cut 90, 95% of the time out of the process. Or managing, more. Yeah, or more. And also probably be much more effective. So first thing, and these are really in the area of prerequisites before you dive into PPC, you really need to know where your product stands out and you also need to know what your target audience is. That's right. On the standing out, that could be something as simple as better pictures, better description, better bullet points. It can also be something like an improved version of a product, better colors, different sizes, stuff like that. Next, you really need to know what your advertising objectives are. This could be your launching, so you want to have explosive growth ranking. You might just be trying to maintain or you're really just trying to grow your product, willing to spend a little bit more above just, you know, break even cost. Yeah. Next, you need to know or find out what your keywords are for your product as well as your competitor's product. Now, if you're just getting started, you're probably gonna do a reverse ASIN search on your competitors, but if you're already rolling, you're gonna do it on your competitors, but also just do a new round of reverse ASIN searches on your own product. That's right, yeah, because new search terms are liable in fact, likely to come up all the time. Especially with COVID and everything that's going on, categories that didn't see high volume are now massive categories and the reverse. So it's very important to keep up on what are the current trending keywords for your product. That's right. Yeah. Next, you need to test these keywords and research campaigns to actually make sure they're effective. Yeah, definitely. Now, there's as many strategies out there as there are keywords or kittens, for instance. Right. A strategy that we find is working today is to create a manual campaign and you put your researched keywords in there from either your listing or your competitor listings, as well as an automatic campaign to drudge up any keywords that you may have missed or that you wouldn't know about. Oh, and realize in this video, we're doing a, like a 10,000 foot view of this topic because we're gonna include a PDF in the description below and you're gonna get all the excruciating details of every little point that you have to do to actually make this work in reality. But if we did that in this video... It'd be 45 yeah, minutes plus. It'd be really, really long. And we're not gonna do that to you and we're not gonna do that to ourselves. Yeah. We like so, ourselves more than that. Let the 10,000 foot view continue. Okay, at this point we're creating more campaigns. You've already created two research campaigns, an automatic and a manual. Mm -hmm. There are going to be keywords in there that show up as being really effective. You wanna take those keywords out of that campaign and put it into a protected campaign. The reason being is you don't wanna lose keywords, search terms that are actually giving you sales. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So you're gonna set that up. Yes. So that kind of sets aside that category. And that'll be a manual campaign. Exactly, a manual campaign. And again, we have all the details in the PDF that you'll see in the description. Yeah. So now you're on to product targeting campaigns. You're gonna create two product targeting campaigns. One is going to be really just to target a category. So let's say you're selling a backpack, right? Mm -hmm. You might wanna figure out how to target moms because moms buy backpacks for their children. Or backpackers because backpackers or buy backpackers. backpackers. They have it in the title. So that's the first. The next one you're gonna set up is to target your competitor's ASINs. So go after other people who sell backpacks.
And now, if applicable, if you are brand registered, you're gonna wanna set up some sponsored ad campaigns. And it's only applicable if you have brand registry. As well as three SKUs. Yes, you have to have three SKUs as right. well. And these are those banner ads that you see at the top of a page that give your brand and then the three SKUs that you're trying to promote. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't have that, then this step doesn't really apply to you. If you do, check out the PDF again, as we mentioned, because that's gonna give you all the details of what you need to do to set that up, how to set it up, how to get it wrong. Good, and this next section is really management, audits. You wanna make sure that everything stays on point and is really optimized. Yeah, so management, audits, and corrections. These are gonna be things like increasing your bids when you've got a well-performing keyword or phrase, decreasing bids on low-performing, making sure that none of your phrases are eating up your budget and mm -hmm. not making you any sales, things like that. Yeah, so you're gonna negative match certain things. And right. it, like, this has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, there's a lot of steps. Yeah, a lot so of steps. So again, you're gonna wanna download the PDF, and they're we made sure that this thing is really self-explanatory, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, it's a couple steps. Yep, Yeah. and there's a process to it, so it's a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to be doing in a chronological order. Right, exactly. So as you can imagine, all of these steps, this isn't a short process, and you have to realize the more uh, often you do these actions, the better your results are gonna be. I'm sure that there are some people out there who never do these actions. I'm sure that the people who do it monthly, <laughs> weekly, and the most effective are gonna do it daily. Yeah, even hourly. Yeah, but it's a lot of work. It's a ton of work. So look at it this way. Imagine you've got three ASINs that you're running this checklist on. That could be five to 10 hours. Which is not a problem if you're doing five to 10 hours of work that's PPC focused a month or even a week, but try to do five to 10 hours of work on just PPC a day or an hour. Yeah, nobody particularly likes doing five to 10 hours of work in an hour, unless you can get five to 10 hours of work done in, in one hour. hour. <laughs> okay, so obviously that doesn't make a ton of sense, but. We do have a solution. Yes, we do. So what we did is we got a bunch of much brighter minds than the two of us into a room and had them figure out a bunch of advanced math and we created PPC Logic. That's right. Which is a AI management service that is guided by an actual Human. manager. Yeah. In other words, it's not like some of these services where you turn the thing on and you just close your eyes and run away because your budget just like a thousand x so you now know kind of our problem with general AI, it can just kind of go crazy, crazy. And wild. So our gripe with the agency model is it's generally what they make is tied to what you spend. We don't like that because that means that they're not really judged on their efficiency. That's right. So we switched it up and said what we are paid is based on what your gross revenue is. So if gross revenue goes up, what we make goes up and your ad spend kind of sticks in the right range. That's right, and during this whole time, your efficiency will be getting better and better based on the AI, which is taking all of the actions that you don't have to spend any time on and making your profit margins increase, ideally. Yeah, and that's actually a really good point because not only is it in theory going to make your uh, PPC campaigns much more efficient, but think of what you can do with an extra you know, 10 hours a month, 10 hours a week, whatever you're spending, maintaining your PPC campaigns. Right, plus as your PPC improves, so does your organic sales. Right, now we don't wanna give away everything because there's a lot to it, but again, we put down in the description, in addition to that PDF, we put down uh, the link to the PPC Logic page where you can get all your questions answered, mm -hmm. set up a call, get more questions answered. If you have questions on top of those questions, you can even create questions. So head over to mbs.ppc-logic.com, set up a call, because here's the thing, even if you don't decide to go forward, some of the wisdom that you're gonna get just in that call alone will probably make it worthwhile. Definitely. And more than likely, if you don't love managing PPC, or you know that it's taking up a ton of time, it could this really is help for your business. you. Yeah, exactly. This is for you. This is for you as much as it is for me because I don't like managing my PPC. And to be honest, I am just about to launch my first product, and I already know I'm going to use PPC Logic myself because I don't want to spend all that time doing those granular, minutia type actions. Yep. I think that's everything. Yeah. I can't think of another single word to say. 
Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hit that bell icon. Yes, yes, that's right. Also, if you're not already a user, give us a shot. You're gonna love it. We have a free 14-day trial, as well as we don't require any credit cards, so you literally have nothing to worry about if you don't like it. Yeah, also, if you've got any questions about what we said, strategies, anything like that, put a comment down below. I'm going to be the one that's gonna be answering, and I know things. This is good. With that, I think we're done. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.